Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. Yeah, I'm feeling great. I should get going. Good luck to you then. We will have to talk again when the land's meet is more settled. Yeah, we're gonna settle that right now. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I've been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? Dude, stuff with Logan. Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Logan. We must end the civil war quickly. What the blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. Alistair. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. She wants to be queen. I get it. I don't trust her any more than her father, but I get it. Uh -huh. What do you think about her? They say that Honora is smart, determined. She's supposedly the one who's really ruled here, not Kaelin. She's her father's daughter. Me? I say that's where the problem lies. People like her and her father always think they're the only ones who can fix things. So everyone should just stay out of their way. What do you think? When the lands meet comes, you might even have a say. I think you should be king. <laughs> you say that now. Just wait. I'm full of surprises. Okay. Well then, let's go. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the lands meet. Now, wouldn't you? You have torn Ferelden apart to oppose the very man who ensured you were born into freedom. But do not think you will get past me to desecrate the lands meet itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest once you are gone. Step aside, wench. I'm aware that he has changed. It has been difficult for him to realize his own countrymen would turn against him. I'm not surprised he is bitter. But he is still a great man, one of the best Ferelden has seen. I don't care. Would a great man at all hard torture his subjects? You think war is simple, don't you, Warden? No. You only fight monsters. No one sheds a tear over the death of an ogre. Torture is an ugly business. But sometimes it's the only way to learn what your enemy intends. And it is much harder to tell who the enemy is when all of them look like you. Are you serious? To support his war, he sold his own people into slavery. What was he supposed to do? You and Eamon were harassing him at every side, forcing him to empty the treasury to fight you. He never wanted a civil war. After Caelan died, everyone was supposed to rally, come together to fight the Darkspawn without crying to Orlais for aid. He never anticipated Merrick's bastard would challenge the throne and force this war. No one forced anything. How can you support a man who killed your king? Fine, you're right. What would you have me say, Warden? Logan is I would a great just have man, you step aside. but his hatred of Orlais has driven him to madness. He has done terrible things. I know it. But I owe him everything. I cannot betray him. Do not ask me to. Come on! I wish I had died at Ostagar rather than live to see this moment. Stop him, Warden. Stop him from betraying everything he once loved. Please, show mercy. Without Logain, there would be no Ferelden to defend. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Logain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Eamon. <laughs> but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question 
is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden, how will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? How much Ferelden blood does Orlesian gold buy these days? Bish. <laughs> I don't know. Everything. The blight is the threat here. There are enough refugees in Mybanorn now to make that abundantly clear. The south is fallen, Loghain. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orlay? The blight is indeed real, Wolf. But do we need Grey Wardens to fight it? They claim that they alone can end the Blight, yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And they asked to bring with them four legions of Chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the Chevaliers, and we really expect them to simply return from whence they came. Let's talk about Al House torture dungeons. The Warden speaks truly. My son was taken under cover of night. The things done to him! Some of them are beyond any healer's skill. Hal was responsible for himself. He will answer to the Maker for any wrongs committed in this life, as must we all. But you know that. You were the one who murdered him. Whatever Hal may have done, he should have been brought before the Seneschal. There is no justice in butchering a man in his home. How about, um, where is it? Poisoning Al Eamon. I assure you, Warden, if I were going to send someone, it would be my own soldiers. I would not trust to the discretion of an apostate. Indeed, my brother tells a very different tale. He says you snatched a blood mage from the Chantry's justice. Coincidence? I think Do not. Do not think the Chantry will overlook this, Terran Loghain. Interference in a Templar's sacred duties is an offense against the Maker. Whatever I have done, I will answer for later. At the moment, however, I wish to know what this Warden has done with my daughter. Nothing! What are you talking about? You took my daughter, our Queen, by force! Killing her guards in the process! What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords bitch. and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. This warden has slandered and defamed Ferelden's greatest hero in a bid to put an imposter on Merrick's throne. What? Oh, when she turned on us. What a shock. Yeah, she seemed like such a nice despot. It has become clear to me, warden, that the true threat to this nation is you. I offered you the chance to ally with me for the good of this nation, and you refused it. I will not allow you to destroy the throne Kaelin and I have held. Who here can say that Anora is not fit to rule this land? And who can say that this Alistair is? We know nothing of him, save that he may have royal blood. For five years, Anora has been queen, and proven herself worthy of the Theron name. She can lead our people through this crisis, and I can lead her armies. My lords and ladies, our land has been threatened before. It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself! Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. The Warden helped me personally in a family matter. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden. The Western Hills throw their lot in with the Wardens. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. Shut up, you bald I bitch. stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. Ha <laughs> ha, you lose. <laughs> Traitors. Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. 
You cared about this land once, before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? Call off your men. Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough! Let the landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we, who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? I'm gonna murder you. It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself! Okay, let's kill this. Not exhaust our supplies. It shall be done. This should be As you yes, said. I know, I'm amazing. It is begun. Truly <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> well, this is taking a little bit longer than I expected actually. Oh wait, don't touch me. It is me. begun. It is begun. I underestimated you, Warden. I thought you were like Kaelin, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. It's called magic. I bitch. yield. I accept your surrender. Actually, I kind of want you to die. <laughs> I didn't just hear you say that. You're going to let him live? After everything he's done? Kill him already! You can Wait. kill him. Wait, there is another option. The Tern is a warrior and general of renown. Yeah, for Let him too. be of use. Let him go through the joining. Yeah, no! There are too few of us. It's not a matter of what we like, it's a matter of what we must do. I don't give a Our heck. duty is to slay the Archdemon. We aren't judges. Kinslayers, blood mages, traitors, without... rebels, carter thugs, common bandits, anyone with the skill and the metal to take up the sword against the Darkspawn is welcome among us. There are three of us in all of Ferelden, and there are compelling reasons to have as many wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. I don't Doesn't want that a satisfy general. you? Shut Absolutely up! Absolutely not! Riordan, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you! How can we simply forget that? Yeah, he has to die. You can't do this. My I'm father may have been told, Alistarius. but he's still a <laughs> hero to the people. Honora. Hush. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. Okay, Alistair. Have at it. I will. I owe that to Duncan.
So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. I accept this decision. I will be king. If the Landsmeet will have me. Honora, the Landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king, and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. Ah, uh, just murder her. I suppose that's true. We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. Put her in the tower for now. If I fall against the Blight, then she can have her throne. If not, then we'll see. You would give me a chance for the throne after all this? I said if I fall, Honora, if I fall, the throne falls to you. I won't kill you while there's a chance that could happen. Somebody has to treat this Blight seriously. That is uncharacteristically wise of you. Yes, well, don't let it get around. I have a reputation. Very well then. Guards, take her away. Your Highness, would you address the Landsmeet? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Um... <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. <laughs> Get it replied already. <laughs> Just shut up. Maker's breath. <laughs> when the blight is over, I'll come back and take up my duties, whatever they are, as king. Until then, I think Al Eamon will have to be my regent. Then I can do Merrick's memory no less honor than you do. I accept. And may the Maker bless your efforts against the Darkspawn. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? <laughs> I can't do no less, my king. Everyone, get ready to march! It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. We need to talk. I'm not going to question why you made me king. I even think I'm starting to come around on the idea anyhow. It could be an interesting future for me, but being king that raises some questions about us. About you and me. Yeah, I thought you were laughing. What sort of questions? First, there's the fact that both you and I are Grey Wardens. It's not just a question of obligation, but of blood. You know that Grey Wardens don't usually live to become old, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. As King, I'll be required to have a child. Even more so because my death is assured. That's assuming that someone with the taint can or even should have a child. Duh, are you suggesting I have this child? Oh. Not with each other. Even one parent having tainted blood means having children is not recommended. All the Grey Wardens I knew with children had them before they joined the Order. I will need to find a wife, one who can bear a child, who will live to raise it. I don't relish it, but I will have a duty as the king. I love you more than I ever thought possible, but I have to face what this means. I can't run away from it anymore. Now when I get for the king, what to do? Please love me. You mean marry who I want? Yes. Carry on with whomever yes. I want. Yes. You don't think that would be very unfair? To my wife as well as you? I don't care, just don't break up with me. You're right. Of course you're right. Damn them all anyhow. If they want to make me king, then then I'll be king. And I'll do exactly what I want to do. I feel like such an idiot for bringing this up now. Can you ever forgive me? Uh, 
Uh, maybe you have to earn it, I think. Oh, that sounds rather saucy. We'll have to discuss my punishment later on, I see. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right? <laughs>